prison parlance, Chester Rocky Weger is known as a life. At the age of 42, Weger, a convicted murderer, has spent just about all of his adult life behind bars at state. For a crime Rocky claims that he didn't commit. I've been here uh, almost 21 years, and uh, it hurt me when I first came here, but I'm past that state. I spent the uh, best years of my life here, and uh, right now, uh, by keeping me into the penitentiary, they're doing nothing to me. Weger attracted nationwide notoriety in 1960 when he confessed to murdering three suburban Riverside housewives at Starve Rock State Park. The victims, Mrs. Lillian Oding, Mrs. Mildred Lindquist, and Mrs. Frances Murphy, had gone to Starve Rock near LaSalle for a few days of bird watching and hiking. It was on the afternoon of March 14, 1960, when Mrs. Oding took this picture of her two companions outside the park lodge shortly before the trio began their ill fated hike. This is St. Louis Canyon, one of the premier tourist attractions at Starve Rock State Park. And it was in this cave that the three women from Riverside were found murdered. The serenity of the canyon would seem to make it an unlikely place for a homicide to take place. Yet on a March afternoon 21 years ago, it was turned into a scene of horror. By the time the bodies were found on Wednesday, March 16th, a snowstorm had swirled into the Illinois River Valley, piling drifts of snow throughout the area. Word of the women's death spread quickly and soon hordes of newsmen descended on the park. I think it's important to realize that the crime was the first major crime in Illinois. Actually, before Gacy, before Speck, it was the crime of the century, so to speak. Investigators had few clues to go on. The murder weapon, a tree limb, used to savagely beat the women was found nearby, but it failed to provide any substantial leads. There was the film from Mrs. Murphy's camera, a rather bizarre photo taken apparently minutes before the murders. Mrs. Odin failed to wind the film completely, and the resulting double exposure gave the initial impression that all three victims had posed together in the canyon. But LaSalle County Sheriff's Police got a break in the case when they were able to determine that the twine used to tie up two of the women was similar to cord used at the lodge. Detectives zeroed in on Chester Rocky Weger, who was working as a dishwasher at the lodge when the murders occurred. In November of 1960, eight months after the slains, Weger confessed. But Weger still claims he was pressured into admitting that he killed the women. Deputy uh, had a confession already drawn up, and uh, he threatened me with a pistol. He told me, he says, uh, you either sign, sign a confession or I'll, I'll kill you, say that you tried to escape. I had, I got LaSalle County Sheriff's Policeman Bill Dummett played a major role in the Weger case. He, he was he present the night Chester confessed. I just, uh, no, he was never threatened. Uh, the only reason uh, Chester confessed, uh, we brought his mother and father in to visit him that night, and uh, after uh, his mother told him to tell the truth, is that is when uh, Chester confessed. Authorities questioned that if Weger was innocent, why did he take the police and a court reporter to the canyon for a reenactment of the crime? As for the motive, Weger told investigators that he was trying to rob the women, and when they resisted, he panicked and killed them. Weger was tried for only one of the murders. The reasoning, if prosecutors weren't satisfied with the sentence, Weger could have been tried for the other killings. In March of 1961, a year after the Starbrock murders, Weger was found guilty of killing Mrs. Lillian Oding. He was sentenced to spend the rest of his natural days in prison. But each year, Weger goes before the parole board, hoping to be released. I owe it to the people here. I owe it to my relatives to prove that uh, I never committed this crime. And uh, there's a lot of people in Lake Salle County that's probably against me that think I committed this crime that probably hate my guts. But that I have friends there still. And uh, I owe it to my friends to uh, try to clear my name. That's all I want to do. And I think over the years that uh, he has got himself brainwashed that he really didn't do this uh, crime. I believe. Uh, uh, after all these years, he really believes uh, that he didn't do it. <laughs>